Floyd was in the shower for hours. <laughs> he got to scrub all that grime and grist She said, I've never seen that boy be in the shower that long in my entire days. I was like, Yo. damn. Because we were sitting, because his family was the, his dad was the super of our building. Mm-hmm. So we all chilling in the super, you know, the yeah, area, yeah, the, the common yeah, area. The, yeah. So we're just chilling. We're like, damn, he's still in there. She came with some snacks or whatever. She's like, yeah, I've never seen that boy staying there that long. We laughed so because we know why we're just Ugh. tears and she's Whoa. like why is so funny with y'all we're like we can't t- go away <laughs> it's stupid shit just go away go away it was mm-hmm. like, bad mm-hmm. came out boy looking mm-hmm. squeaky clean Mm-mm. nasty that is nasty but that was him before going into the dating world because he waited a while before he got into the dating because guy's heart broke yeah so he waited which is usually what happens with guys that we, one woman break them and then that and then it takes them a minute but the minute for men it takes like two decades it's, it's i mean 84 it's been 84 years no, <laughs> <laughs> they got that diamond you no lie it. one dude i know <laughs> he said everyone's told me about this dude like yo he used to be a good guy we're like when when he was 12 like what yeah. happened they're like shorty fucked his head up so we all gotta pay yeah we all gotta Ooh, fuck out of here woman. i can't stand men that do that shit i'm like why why we all have to suffer for that why woman. we gotta suffer what did i do i, I have do shit. friends who did that they they i remember my friend he had this one girl mm-hmm. um in college and they would it was like they were on track to marriage almost at this <gasps> oh. point. Like they were, they were that it was serious. Happening. And he was, he was serious about this girl. And then I don't know what happened. They broke up. He became a man ho after that and was just like, I'm just here, just fuck bitches. Like I'm just running through women. Like I, I don't give a shit. And just, I don't even think since then he's had like an actual, like honest, serious, monogamous relationship since, since. How and long this was in college. God damn. I don't think he's had a serious. I I personally don't. I I have not seen him. Mm-hmm. I saw him the other day with like some girl that he was dating, mm-hmm. and then I found out that they broke up like not too long ago or some time ago. So he hasn't been like in a serious, committed, long term relationship since that girl. That's crazy. Yeah, he's a grown man now. He's a grown man now, and that's I'm like it always takes guys like one woman to fuck them up, but us. We're gluttons of punishment. We we yeah. are harbingers. I think it's horrible, like we, but it's we true. Can, we can tolerate pain for whatever reason. So so can can I ask the question, because the reason we came up with this conversation mm-hmm. is uh, because, you know, I'm I'm letting go of my, I've letting, letting go of my pain. I've oof. gotten, you know, I've alleviated. Are you? My pain. And, yeah. Are you ready to date? go out and dating world and be, you know like yes. you wanna, and, and want to and you never had date. that chance to actually yes. go on dates so I've never had multiple act, dates yeah. I've with never different people had the time. I've never had the time nor did I ever have the opportunity that's it the opportunity it wasn't really the time it was, it was really just the time. really opportunity, it was the opportunity. I never had the opportunity to date multiple people at the same time I've never had the opportunity to actively date um, there was a time when I was seeing my ex and when we were together mm-hmm. that there was a another man who had liked me who was attracted to me and he mm-hmm. wanted to date but then he also was kind of in, inconsistent with my attempts at trying to date got it um i was trying to date a third person at the same time as well i was trying to i was girl <coughs> listen Lord. well here's the thing me and my ex we had broken up mm-hmm. he was doing him i was doing me mm-hmm. we were still cool with each other so we were cordial we would speak to each other yeah um then this guy who said he really liked me was like i want to date you i'm like okay cool he wants to date me then there was another guy um funny enough we all went to school together oh how convenient how convenient and (laughs) he wanted to date me too so happened this guy allegedly got into a car accident and then um what yeah he didn't die but he got into a car accident um, on the night that he was supposedly picking, like, getting ready to pick me up. Yeah, for our you date. told me about this. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that, and that guy. I so that fizzled accident. out because, you know, I'm like, okay, I understand. Like, you know, you have broken ribs and shit, but whatever. Like, you know, but six months down the line, you could have texted the girl and be like, hey, guess what? I was in a car accident. Like, I'm okay now. You know, I'm alive. Let's have Something coffee. happened to me. Or tea. But it was like a year and change mm-hmm. after the fact. So, <clears throat> I didn't I didn't get a chance to date there and then the guy who did like me and did want to date me again he was inconsistent he was like so you had two flakes and yeah. then your ex 
and then my ex. And then it's like... So you never got to juggle them? No, I never got to juggle them. I never actually got to go on, like, Actual dates. dates. Yeah. Like, with the guy who was inconsistent, we went out a total of... We went out a total of twice. Mm-hmm. The third time we hung out, he came to my house, um, which goes to my point about how, like, with me and guys, it's always, like, two times I go out with them, and then it's like I bring them in the house for safekeeping. So, ah! And then... And then that's Keep when them the in shit, the closet. Yeah, and then that's when the shit goes always goes left. Mm-hmm. Um, so we went out a total of two times, and then that was it. And then after that, he came to my house like a, for that time, and mm-hmm. then that, was, that it. was it. Like that fell apart almost immediately because again he was kind of flaky. So I eventually end up going back to my ex. Mm-hmm. That's how I end up going back to my ex. And even with my ex, like we didn't date, and he wanted to date, but like I said, we didn't have the opportunity to date because my mom was um. Mm-hmm. she was not oh, a fan of him boy he because my ex was at almost 10 years older than me yeah so you know if you figure i'm in my 20s he's like in he's in his 30s yeah, and in his 30s and so she felt like he was too old for me mm-hmm. she's like is he too mature for you i'm like no he's too old for me there's a difference between maturity That's, and age hell yeah so um <clears throat> you know he was just older and yeah he wanted she didn't like that she didn't like the fact that he wanted to date like he wanted to take me out like do things let's go to a movie let's go to a dinner let's go do this let's go do that Mm -hmm. and she didn't like that and it was kind of like in order for me to date him he had to be my boyfriend that's that old school shit yeah i know very backwards it's like he has to be your boyfriend in order to take you out of the house if he's not something to you then what's the point of you going out going on dates with him you know and then it's not secured because it's not safe if he's your boyfriend then they can say okay well that's her boyfriend Mm -hmm. i know this i know that about Mm -hmm. him i know his phone number i know blah 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 because you have that information give a chance to date the guy first but you know in order for me to date him Mm -hmm. he you know, he had to get that because if he just wanted a date where we were just meeting up, then it's like, you're going out with this guy again. Be careful because, you know, next thing you know, they can rape you and chop you up yeah, like, whoa, whoa, and whoa, throw whoa, you into, whoa. A, uh, you know, a ditch. Hold or, on. I'm not trying or, to get know, chopped up. You know, he can use you. And what if he pimp you out? What if he's, you know, <laughs> dating other women? And it's like, that's fine if he's oh, dating. Can other I just women. get to Let's, know the guy? So didn't have that opportunity. So now it's like. When you I, fast forward now as a divorce say I would in like your that 30s, opportunity. Yeah. How how do you feel so far? Because it's different dating tactics now too. It's a different dating style. These it's apps, a different dating scene yeah, altogether. Like the way people maneuver within these apps too, because now the thing is, how do you meet people? That's right? that's my biggest hurdle right now. You know, because... what do you do? Because I've tried it. I we've talked about this. Yes, this we is, have. That's something where I'm like, okay, I've done all the apps. I'm good. I tried. I even came back, tried again. I'm like, God damn, this is a lot of work. Yeah. But I set goals with it too. So I noticed if I try to do like a, if you don't get like matches at a certain time, yeah, then I'll take off the subscription because that will help me maneuver Mm -hmm. within the app better. When I noticed I did do the pay subscriptions for these apps, I'm like, Oh, this does help me figure out who I want, who I don't want. Mm -hmm. We want to engage in conversation, get to know them a little more. All right, fine. After a while, I had literally two months or three months, whatever the minimum was, done. Yeah. Once it was, I didn't see anything popping off, close it out. We're close done. Close it out. Because I was active and I was very big on it too because I'm putting the money in. So I'm giving myself that goal saying, okay, in three months, you was active. You went on this many dates. How do you feel? You want to keep mm-hmm. up or not? Nah, all right. Next, next app. Then I noticed a lot of them were already on the same apps. So I was like, oh, didn't I see on Tinder and Bumble, and now y'all plenty of fish, plenty of Listen, Christian they mingle. They were trying to cast Shit. that net. Cat, how many nets you need? You need a lot, apparently. It's There's exhausting. a lot of people in Shit. in New York. Um, so for me, I don't. <sighs> it's a lot. It's a lot. And you I try think speed dating. No, I I probably would try speed dating, mm-hmm. but at the same time, my godson's mom is dying for me to try that shit. I feel for like years. speed dating might be a miss for me only yeah. because it'll take me a few minutes to yeah. warm up to a person and get to know someone. So it's like, okay, just, just, I mean, just warming up, just to talk, just to just like have a conversation, just to have converse a conversation. With someone. Yeah. Just to mm-hmm. get into what they may like or may not like. So by the time that I actually get into <laughs> a groove with it, ding, <laughs> gotta go. And I'm like, ah, like, ah shit, I'll call you. Okay, so it's, um, I haven't done speed dating. Like I said, I think it might be a miss for me right now. Mm-hmm. I'm on an app. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's just one. 
I'm on just one. I'm on one app. Are you trying to cast other nets in different apps? I'm thinking I might start downloading other apps um, because, again, it's just hard. It's hard for me to meet new people because mm-hmm. right now I'm very much in a, in a zone of I'm comfortable with some people mm-hmm. whom I like right now or who I have interest in right now. Mm-hmm. But I don't think those spaces or we're good enough for us to date or that there is the option of us dating. Mm-hmm. So I want to date. I mean, I feel like if, if I were dating the person that or dating the, the person that I, um, that I do like at the moment, like it'll make that transition into like a relationship a little bit easier. No, I agree. But if you know, they're not, but if I, exactly, that. I know that they're not into that. So then I have to just kind of go into it very casual mm-hmm. Uh, but I think that's the other thing that I have to break out of because, again, used to being boyfriend first, then mm-hmm. dating. So I'm in this mindset. I have to get out of this mindset of like every person that I date, I don't actually have to like them. No. So you don't. Yeah. You know, what that's I mean? hard, like, though, because you, you're a good person. You're not trying to. Yeah. You know, and I'm, dick, not trying to be, like, and I'm not trying to be a douche. I'm not trying. I'm really not trying to be like, OK, I went on one date and he was such an asshole and I don't want to see him again. Maybe it's because, you know, he has first date jitters and, yeah. and that's like me. Yeah. Like I'm going to start thinking, but you have like, to set rules too. You got to give yourself gotta boundaries. The, exactly. So I'm at a point right now. You're, where it's as like, you we said before, glutton for punishment. I am a glutton for punishment. So I am as like, well. I have to like, figure I'm out done. what boundaries I want to set. Like if I want to do a three date rule mm-hmm. with a person to see if maybe after three dates. Yes. If mm-hmm. not, then no. Mm-hmm. Um, and then just be consistent with the dating as in like, I want to act like we have to keep going out places. And I understand yeah. the concept that I'm used to, which is, you know, two dates and then home. Like it has, it's, that's benefits hard. because of the mere fact that after two days we don't gotta keep spending money on shit okay i know but what you mean. i also want to be consistently dating or going out on dates and being creative with those dates so that way okay we don't have to spend stuff but we don't have to be in the house exactly you know we can go to starbucks and just you know just suck up all their free wi-fi hey. <laughs> and watch netflix go wifi. you know what i mean like yeah. and chill yeah. and watch netflix but like we're in, out. A star, in a starbucks you know mm-hmm. or um you know go to a park or you know go to a beach or go to a museum Mm -hmm. um which will force me to do things like go to a museum force me to do things like see other parts of the city like Mm -hmm. maybe go to industry city and go just in the mall Mm -hmm. i've never been in that either so that might be like a date idea for me at some point in time Mm -hmm. just go there and go through the mall and see all the different shops and markets and um things like that so as a single divorcee, I can say um, at this moment, I am ready to date. Like, I would like to date. Mm-hmm. Am I 100% mentally ready to date, though? <laughs> I wouldn't even ask you that. I, I don't would, yeah. know. But mm-hmm. I know, like, the physicality of it, of actually going out of the house and meeting new people. Is, yeah. I'm very, much, down. I'm very much open to doing that. Now, the one problem you have to remind yourself or I would say prep yourself because I learned that doing this too, when I was into like serial dating and learning how to date multiple people, mm-hmm. but getting to know them, mm-hmm. it was hard constantly repeating yourself. Well, yeah. So you have to get ready to be constantly yeah, repeating to be, yourself. Yeah, so it's to like, repeating the same exact oh, thing over this and is, over again. I keep, I started calling it job yeah, interview so with how, cocktails. Yep, yep, mm-hmm, I'm an mm-hmm. Aquarius. Yep. Yep. My favorite color is blue. Yep. Yep. Favorite, yep mm-hmm, oh, same what? thing. Yep, yep. What's your sign? Mm-hmm. Oh, it's Aquarius. Oh, yep. really? Yeah. Oh, where do you live? Oh, I live in Brooklyn. What do you do? You know, oh, yeah. You know, I work at a school. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, do you have kids? God. Yeah, no, I have no kids. Oh, you know, nice. Just got to keep saying that like five or six, seven, eight times. Yeah. Um, that's the only bad thing. I used to call it job interview with cocktails because it yeah. was that point. Like I was constantly just spilling out my life resume mm-hmm. multiple times a week or multiple times a month. I'm like, <sighs> I'm over it. And I got to a point where I was just, I burnt out and I'm like, I can't do this anymore. I'm exhausted. Yeah, I tried. And I got one, two dates, uh, two dates and a friend out of it of all the dating apps. Like, one of my friends, like, my good friend, Hamid, like, mm-hmm. we're still cool. I love him to death. I've known him forever now. And it's like, we met on Tinder before Tinder got creepy. Like, when right, Tinder first popped like off, that's thing. how we met. So yeah. it was like, oh, okay. And now it got creepy. I was like, ah, if I get one more dick pic, I'm, 
be pissed. They're not even pretty. Like, why are you doing that? It's nasty. And then the other dude I met in Jersey, he was cool until he got weird. And I was like, okay, I can't. He had a drinking problem. I was like, yeah, no, I can't. I can't date you. And then the last guy I was mm. dating. I was-